was a friendly but naive king who wed a very nasty queen. The king was loved, but the queen was feared. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Nemeseek. And I just finished my Venom blog episodes and I said, you know what? We can do one more Nemeseek episode because this is going to be a quick one. These are updates from Chad Rook's Instagram account. He actually posted uh, two images in his Instagram stories that I thought were pretty neat and I wanted to share with you guys uh, because I think they might be set photos or interior shots uh, from the Resident Evil movie from the Spencer Mansion, uh, possibly. So uh, you guys, I'll share the images and you guys let me know what you think. But first he put this image that said like, you know, uh, with a caption that said like, uh, you know, the Spencer Mansion is scarier in person or something akin to that. Like, you know, you thought it was scary before, but seeing it built in real life is really scary. And he has the image of the main hall. And I cannot wait. I think for me, that is the biggest moment that is going to be in this trailer for me is seeing that main hall. I hope they show it in that first trailer. I really do. That will get me so pumped. Even if the first uh, trailer is a teaser where it's just uh, the camera walking up to the front of the house and you see like a cut a, a quick cut and you see like a monster or two and then it cuts back and it's like slowly walking up to the house or rapidly running up to the house and then it cuts and it shows a couple other shots from the movie and then boom the front doors open and it goes in and shows the big hall and then you just it cuts to another like a monster or two and then shows like a lisa trevor and then it just cuts and says like resident evil uh you know coming to, you know whenever i think there's a tentative release date of September for this movie of 2021. At least that's according to um, uh, the uh, Biohazard Declassified. So I'll put a link to that down below. They kind of tease that it might come out in September according to a post on Constantin Film's website where they're trying to target release date it for September, but nothing's official yet. But uh, but it seems like that that could be where they might try to release the film, which will be cool. I'll be down to watch this movie you know, in September. That's not too far away. And they're wrapping up filming of it now. And so we'll talk about that in future episodes uh, for sure, where, you know, which departments are rapping, which actors and actresses are uh, rapping and stuff like that. We'll get into all that, you know, after I have a couple days of rest and stuff. And I'll try to get these videos up to you guys in the meantime. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so like having all this information, all these things coming out, it got me excited. But then seeing these posts got me excited too. So the first image that Chad Rook showed was this one here of like the stained glass window, which just made me think of a million things. I'm like, is this, you know, a nod to Veronica? Like the, the you know, the Ashford family? Is this just like that image um, in the game where it's like, you know, someone has like a gold bracelet or like, a, I think, it, yeah, it's a gold bracelet maybe or a purple bracelet, green necklace and like a something, a red crown or something. It's like the stained glass from the Resident Evil 1 remake. I'm like, is it something from that? Like where it's a puzzle that they got to solve? Um, or is it just something that's like in a room? Like it's one of the windows above the dining room or something? Like, you know, what is it? I don't know, but it's still pretty cool uh, seeing that. So I love that image that Chad Rook shared. And then I also love this image that he shared, which is of a fireplace with a deer above it. And it says like fear lives here or something along those lines. And in some of these on his Instagram stories, he posted the song Don't Tell Aunt Rhody along with them, which uh, is from the uh, Resident Evil 7 video game. So I kind of like that. Like Chad Rook is clearly a fan of Resident Evil. And I'm so glad he's you know able to post these things and share these little snippets because they're getting me super hyped and I don't see a lot of people covering them either um, because I think it's hard to kind of like I, I basically that's why I got back on Instagram was so I can check that guy's Instagram like you know two three times a day because um, he posts you know pretty often but he posts you know other things like stuff about his personal life um, and, and things like that so it's a nice blend new new jobs that he's working on too but because of him I'm following all the other actors in the movie and I'm checking out their Instagram posts and stuff too. So it's it's fun. We're getting little snippets and, and things here and there. But that shot there of the the you know fireplace with the deer above it made me think of that small room in uh, in the mansion where you have to like take the the jewel out of the eye of the deer. And I think there's like an eagle on the other side. You got to pull uh, you know a gem out of that eagle's eye or whatever. So or the eagle's like moving back and forth maybe. And there's like a deer on one side and like a I don't know, like a, a bull or something on the other side. I can't remember. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's like it reminds me of that room. And I, I was like, oh, that's cool. What if it's what if that room is in the movie and stuff? Um, and it has some like red books on it and stuff, which is very reminiscent of the video game. But I also thought, well, what if that's what they decide to do for? Because remember that room with the dining room table in it that we talked about before? There was a fireplace next to that. I'm like, what if they cleared all the furniture out of that room and dolled up that room to be 
that you know that room or whatever so i don't know well I'm, my mind's going a million different places here but uh before i ramble on too much i just wanted to share those images with you guys and just see what you think of them uh, because i got pumped anytime i see something that could be from the spencer mansion i'm so excited because that and the rpd i mean we saw versions of them uh, in the movies before, Resident Evil Apocalypse kind of had the RPD in it for a scene. Um, and then also the Resident Evil 1 movie kind of had a mansion in it, although they don't call it the Spencer Mansion. Although a guy named Spence did live in it and he was like pretend married to Meliovich's Alice character. So we never really got uh, the, the Spencer Mansion with the main hall and the split staircase and all that. We never really got that. And, uh, and, and so now that we finally are, I mean, it's been the one thing I've been waiting for um you know for all these res evil movies is that i mean they it, it's like you know in the video games they keep going back like you know in code veronica and then res evil 5 i think when you do the 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 jill and chris like uh prequel game storyline uh the lost chapter whatever it was like all of those have rooms in them that are replicas of the spencer mansion main hall room and uh and that's great i love every time they revisit that i think even on one of the the boats, the Queen Zenobia. I think even one of those had a room like that. I, I I get into it because they they actually say that George Trevor designed all of those, so it kind of works out. I'm like, all right, so continuity wise, it makes sense. In the movies, they kept going back to that stupid laser room, and I'm like, if you're gonna keep revisiting a set, revisit the Spencer Mansion. So I hope that when they build this big main hall, that they when they take it down, they store it somewhere. And if they make more Resident Evil movies, and they ever do like a Code Veronica or Resident Evil 5 adaptation or something that they reuse that set you know I just I want to see it again and again <laughs> it's my favorite thing in Resident Evil uh, one of them is that just that room it's so iconic um so let me know what you guys think do you think these pictures could be from the set of the Spencer Mansion if so let me know down below if not let me know down below too and what do you think of uh, you know if you're not following Chad Rook please do the guy posts a lot doesn't post Resident Evil stuff always, obviously, but every now and again, you get a little gem from him, and I, I really appreciate it. I think it's awesome that he's so passionate about it, and he clearly loves that he's a part of this movie, and he's making me really pumped, like, and, and, and excited to see Richard Aiken, actually, uh, in the game, you know, or in the movie, from the game in the movie, uh, because Richard's a character that, like I said, he's very selfless. Um, that's kind of his role in those video games, and the first video game is that he sacrifices his life to be you know, to, so that Jill and Chris can live, no matter what version or, or you know, or path you choose in the game, because there's multiple paths and multiple ways he can die. But um, he does die in every version. So I'm curious to see. Now I want him to live because I like Chad Rook. <laughs> so hopefully Richard will live in the movie. But we'll see. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, but I am excited. So thank you, Chad Rook, for sharing these images. And thank you all for watching the show. Hopefully you guys will enjoy the content. If you do, make sure you like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, uh, because I'll have more videos for you guys very, very soon. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.